Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I'd like to start a series of programs, historical music programs, about female composers. Today, I'll be representing the French pianist virtuosa uh, Louise dumont ferranc And I would like to give a short introduction to the work I'm going to play before I play it by giving you a little bit of insight into her life. Louise was born into a very troubled era in French history. She was born in 1804 and Napoleon had declared himself emperor. By this time, the French government wanted to do something to restore the city to normality. And they invented a, a community, a community of arts, a community of sculptors, musicians, called the Sorbonne. Louise's family were uh, noted sculptors, the Dumonts, and they were part of this Sorbonne community. It was here that she learned many things, um, classics, languages and arts. And she performed regularly in their concerts. It was here she met her husband Aristide, Aristide Ferranc, and uh, it was quite a few years later they got married and she started to publish her early works um, in his edition, Edition Farrakh. Louise was historically the first female pianist to become a full-time professor at the Paris Conservatoire. She didn't have an easy time there because she found that her pay was unequal to that of the male professors working there. So after two years of struggling and a letter to the director of the conservatoire, she finally got granted her wish, equal pay. Good for her, an amazing thing at that time. Louise composed around 50 works in total, some beautiful symphonic and chamber pieces. Uh, out of those 50 works, at least 32 were for piano alone. And um, it shouldn't be forgotten that she and Aristide compiled one of the first collections of early keyboard works, which they edited, called Le Trésor des Pianistes, an incredible collection, which after Aristide's death, she continued to work on. When the popularity of opera began to gain momentum in Paris, Louise began to write variations on operatic themes. And the one that's going to follow this little introduction to her life today is that that I recorded today, the Cavatina from Bellini's Norma. A very lovely piece. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.